Hey everyone, today we're going to look at the LapDock 100 by Motorola. This is a portable laptop shell basically. It has a 10 point, let me get this open, a 10.1 inch screen, a full keyboard, and a battery that lasts about 5 hours when charged. This works by plugging in to a webtop enabled phone, which many phones are uh, such as the Droid Bionic, the Droid Razor, the Atrix 2, the Photon, and a few others I'm sure, plus future phones probably will be as well. And what we're going to do here is turn it on and show you guys how it works. So I'm going to take my Droid Razor here. Well actually let me go over the device a little more. Like I said it has 5 hour battery life. you got your mouse pad here with your clicker buttons on the bottom which are hard to see but it does have the clicker buttons here. Uh, you got your on off button on the right. On the back you have your power port and two USB plugs to plug in say an external mouse or external hard drive or whatever you can plug into those. You can use your USB for multiple things. And then as you can see here in the back this little pull tab. Pull it out and here is how you connect your phone to your laptop. There's a little space here which is used to kind of hold your phone certain phones fit better in it but your phone can kind of fit in there and it'll just hold your phone in there so let's go ahead and plug it in and see how it works to plug it in like I said you take this uh, accessory and it's going to fit right in the top of the phone here so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and make sure I got it the right direction we're going to go like this now it's plugged in so now let me go ahead and I'm just going to leave the phone on the ground instead of putting it in the thing, but it fits just fine in here too. Okay, All the so phones here's the laptop kind of in here and fully up and running. Once you plug in the phone, it only takes about two seconds for the screen to come on. Uh, I still have the plastic wrap around the screen, so if it looks a little funny, that's just the plastic wrap. I need to pull that off. On the left side here, you can see this is my phone main screen. This is exactly how I have my phone set up and uh, if you wanted to go to your market it would bring it up just like it would bring it up on your phone as you can see up here I'm connected to 4G LTE go back to my home screen you can do anything you want you could still talk to it like you can uh, click on it and say navigate to McDonald's and just like that it's gonna work just like you had you you had your phone in your hand this is basically your phone okay so that's the one first uh, that's the first thing about this web top uh, application is you can use your phone on screen you can send text messages you can check your email gmail all that just like you would on your phone and you can use a keyboard to type now the other thing is it's also kind of a laptop you got this whole other space here so one of the best things is your Firefox web browser. Click on that and it will start up. And now we have a portable computer basically that we can do whatever we want. The last page I was on was my hedgehog uh, search on Google. So we're going to search for that. And now right away again we're on YouTube watching there's nothing like the uh, my YouTube account. Also on this device, as you can hear the sound, there are two speakers on the bottom, one on each side. <laughs> and uh, you can also full screen your web browser to make it a full screen web browser. As you can see, movie playback on the screen is smooth and good. You have uh, all the normal buttons uh, a computer would have. You got your volume, you got your play buttons, your, your other stuff. Uh, this, the, you can do your phone calls and everything. So let's minimize this down again and show you again with the 4G network as you can see it's on 4G up here super fast. I mean you can go to anything and the websites are going to load quick. Uh, this is going to be a portable internet. It's going to be a portable computer that can run off your phone's 4G at any place, at any time. The unit has a battery in it, like I said, so it's completely portable, wireless computer, basically. 
we have some other WebTop uh, things. You can go to apps for WebTop here. And now there's lots of uh, applications you can find in here. I haven't gone through and looked through all the apps or got all the apps. Um, at a later point, I might do a review on what I think some of the better apps are and such. But there's featured apps, there's web top apps, uh, you know, there's smartphone apps, uh, meet web top, you know. You go through here, sign up, and you can get lots of apps, kind of like you would get apps for your phone. You can get apps for the uh, web top application. You also have your gallery. And the gallery, of course, is going to be uh, what's on your phone. So if we click on gallery, I think I clicked it. Maybe I need a, maybe I didn't. There we go. Gallery, I thought, would show up on the big screen, though. Uh, camera roll. Click on that. It's showing up on my little screen here, but I thought we could get it to show up on the main screen. In fact, last time I opened it, it, it did show up on the main screen, so that's odd. But you can see your camera roll. I just got a couple pictures of Jack. Well, you can see my face in here. My hair is crazy. <laughs> just woke up. Um, and let's go back and see what else we can do. I think I got to minimize now. Somehow I expanded my phone to the full size. Let me close out the gallery. Oh, no, no. I didn't want to navigate, no. I must have talked. Go down here, maybe to minimize my phone. There we go. You got your music, messaging, contacts, phone, mobile view. Uh, you can get rid of the mobile view if you want. You know, you can close it down. And basically, this is like a little computer. The thing I like about it the best, of course, is the internet browser. That's what I'm going to use it for. You know, if I'm on the go and I want to answer some YouTube questions or somebody sent me a Gmail or email and I want to answer it now I have a keyboard and a computer that I can see it larger type out stuff and it's a lot quicker and easier to use plus if you have photos videos or anything like that on your phone sure the Droid Razor phone's screen is amazing but showing someone a picture or video on a screen that's you know 4.3 inches compared to a screen that's 10.1 inches you know you're going to be able to uh, display your photos and videos and images a lot easier to your friends and family on a little bit larger screen. So that's another great thing about it. Now this is the 100 model. There's also a 500 model which I don't believe is out yet but it's going to have a camera on the top so it'll allow you to do Skype and stuff. Now this one does have gallery. I'm pretty sure you can go to your phone's camera and still use your phone's camera but then you would have to like pick up your phone and use it. So the WebTop 500 does come with a camera up top. I'm unsure of the megapixel, but it would be usable for like Skype or, Fa or Skype or those types of programs. And it also has a larger screen and a little bit longer battery life. It's also a heavier, heavier machine and it's going to be bulkier to carry around. This WebTop's only 2.2 pounds, very small, light, and easy to carry around. And, uh, pretty much it. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how the setup works, how it all is. You can maximize your phone so you can use your phone full screen or you can just use your internet and web top apps and you can either have them side by side so you can see what's going on or you can uh, maximize your website and just do whatever you want uh, like the internet. So just wanted to give you guys a review of that, show you how it works. Very nice and simple, on the go, portable, wireless internet enabled little laptop running from my droid razor phone so there we have it the web top 100 great accessory and uh, see you guys later also one last thing the price currently is around 250 to 299 on these depending where you buy it so that's the cost if you guys are looking into getting it and uh, see you guys later